Earlier this year, I saw my first glory and Brocken spectra. Usually you have to be on a mountain, but I saw it early in the morning, looking down on a fog bank above the river Stour in Dorset. As I walked down a lane, I could see a white rainbow, sometimes called a fog bow. At the end of the lane, I could look down across the field towards the river, and there was the glory and Brocken spectra. Its centre was bright yellow, like the sun, surrounded with a thin band of colours forming a rainbow effect. I could see a shadow of myself in the centre that was relative to my position and actions. This photo is very similar to what I actually saw, except the colours of the rainbow were much thinner. This diagram explains how a glory and Brocken spectra forms. The process is unfolding relative to the wavelengths of the light and the atoms of the periodic table. We have spherical geometry with the observer being the focal point. This is formed by photon vibrations generating spherical waves of probability. We have two diagrams here, one without an observer and one with an observer. It seems logical that we would have a mirror image of the sun, even without an observer. I say this because when I was observing, I found that I could walk away and the Brocken spectra disappeared as the geometry was broken, but it seemed like I was walking out of the line of sight of the sun's reflection. Not that the sun's mirror image disappeared because there was no observer. This would make the glory, the circular rings of colour, a secondary effect. When there is an observer, he or she forms a focal point, like the lens of a cheap telescope forming rings of colour. Because the fog bank was partly transparent, the light waves are continuously travelling through the fog. What the observer does is see the wavelengths of the light as concentric coloured rings in the form of light photons at a set moment in time. This is possible because the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons are forming a blank canvas that we can interact with. This gives us the potential to form the possible into the actual as the future unfolds photon by photon. Nothing supports this idea better than how the individual observer becomes a focal point of a process of energy exchange that forms the glory of the Brocken spectra. Thanks for watching. I will place references below.